15th, I'm in Frankfurt. Thank you all for joining us here today. I'm delighted to welcome Professor Greg Clark, CBE, as our only keynote speaker. Greg is described as a global advisor on cities, but behind those four words is so much more. Greg is a highly respected advocate and mentor on cities and businesses. He's chairman of several initiatives which focus on cities or city regions, including the City Leadership Laboratory, the University College London, and the OECD Lead Forum for Development Agencies and Investment Strategies, to name just two. I'm also pleased to extend a very warm welcome to Wolfgang Martin, President and CEO of Messe Frankfurt, and to Matthew Schulze, Managing Director of our Strategic Partners, the German Convention Bureau. I'm also delighted to welcome all ministers, politicians, government officials, and industry leaders who have joined us here this morning before attending the INEX Politicians Forum. The Politicians Forum is an industry leading advocacy event which we organise in collaboration with ECF and AIPC and under the auspices of the Joint Meetings Industry Council. Every year it brings together national and regional politicians and policy makers with our both global industry leaders to share knowledge, experience and ideas about the contribution that our industry makes to national and regional economic development. Over the last 15 years, we've seen the debate, the debate move forward to demonstrating that the industry can contribute to debating how to maximise that contribution. Initiatives such as the Global Meetings Industry Day in April, championed by Meetings Meetings Business Coalition, also serve as an important platform to further this goal and understanding. This year, with 122 events taking place in 35 countries, grassroots advocates across the globe were empowered to promote the industry's value with key stakeholders. This growing appreciation among politicians, corporation CEOs, and among association leaders that face to face communication continue to bring wide ranging benefits in these increasingly digital times is vitally important. It's one of the main factors ensuring the sustained growth of the meetings industry in an uncertain, unpredictable, and often changing world. Since we were last together here in Frankfurt, our world's experienced tremendous change. Brexit, the election of Donald Trump, the election of Emmanuel Macron, and the forthcoming elections in the UK and Germany have undoubtedly fueled an atmosphere of uncertainty in Europe, in the USA, and elsewhere. However, there are also signs of positivity and continued prosperity from an economic perspective. In April of this year, the IMF World Economic Outlook projected global growth at 3.5% in 2017 and 3.6% in 2018. Expectations of more robust global demand, reduced inflationary pressures and optimistic financial markets are all set to be contributing to this upward development. Meeting professionals also remain resilient and cautiously optimistic. Research by MPI's meeting outlook in April reported that 69% of respondents expect favorable business conditions, an increase 11% on the previous quarter, and 52% were predicting favorable budget trends for the next year. All this despite security concerns which are a very real threat to our global industry. I'm pleased to see the industry's response in the form of the Exhibition and Meeting Safety and Security Initiative, MC, which was launched in IMEX America last year. Such a proactive approach by a cross-section of industry organisations will help to not only protect the attendees and stakeholders at our many events, but also to protect the industry itself. IMEX always provides revealing insights into the industry's prevailing mood, and that resilience and forward-looking attitude is clearly evident here this week, with growth for both new and existing exhibitors adding up to the largest ever IMEX. Unparalleled contribution of IMEX to the meeting and incentive industry. And it's such a privilege, Torina and Ray, that you guys come back every year. It's a privilege you come back to Germany, to Frankfurt, and to Messe Frankfurt. And again, for us as trade people, the last day of the setup is always the most important one. And I walked the floor yesterday with my
my colleagues, and it's astonishing how much you every year contribute um, and add to the value of your show. More conferences, more delegates, number of, uh, a record number of exhibitors, record number, I do think, of attendees as well. It's a privilege to have you here. Even over this new technique that we are assembling here, I never saw, uh, never saw that. Much better acoustic, much cozier, maybe much cozier than even in the past. Thank you so much for bringing the community together in Frankfurt, at Messe Frankfurt. Many years uh, of you might know, I mean, now we heard it's the 15th IMAX in Germany, there's another IMAX in the meantime uh, in uh, Las Vegas. But also, um, Grey Room is not only one of the premier meeting conference organizers in the world, he's also very much involved in football. <laughs> and as you might know, that this guy, I mean, he's a hardworking individual, uh, always positive, but uh, he also could, can be uh, like a party piece, I heard, um, since his team, Brighton, the Seagulls, moved up, made it to the Premier League. Um, congratulations. We'll be more happy. I mean, and also, trade shows an incentive and are also a team sport. Maybe this is why you're successful in both, in the team sport organizing conventions like this and in the team sport <coughs> soccer. Um, this is why, I mean, sometimes soon we will have a statue of, um, of Ray in front of all eight. But in the meantime, in the meantime, um, I would like to award you with a little, um, yeah, a little award, a little, um, with joy of heart, felt greetings, IMAX and the Seagulls. This is what winners look like. Congratulations to Ray Bloom and his teams of IMAX and of the Seagulls um, in uh, Brighton. Congratulations. Have a great show, everybody. Thank you. Thank you.
An example of this is an initiative which has been uh, founded here at IMEX a couple of years ago. It's the Strategic Alliance of the National Convention Bureau of Europe. We are working closely together in order to boost Europe as a destination for meeting tournaments. And we, of course, believe in Europe as a very, very great opportunity to organize and to run and to host international conferences. And as mentioned in the beginning, of course, IMAX gave birth to this initiative. And this is what IMAX is about. In initiatives, corporations, relationships, just doing good business. And as I always end, I end this time as well, of course, I extend my thanks to Ray for supporting our exciting initiative. And as I believe that you are very open to new ideas, I can clearly see that your daughter Karina takes over. And I can clearly see that this year's IMAX Karina is also your signature, thanks to your communication strategies, all nine with the new um, ideas with the book supplier launch, etc. So it's all doing very well. So thank you very much, Ray. Thank you, Karina. Thank you, all your teams. Thank you to my team as well. Thank you to all of you who came to Germany. It's the best place you could be. Thank you very much. There is something just great about attending a meeting about meetings. When you think about it, there are talks about talks. Uh, there are books about books. There are even songs about songs. And those of you who love William Shakespeare know that there's a play about a play. But attending a meeting about meetings seems to me to be a really, really interesting thing to do. And of course, we're in very good company. Um, I'm very delighted to be here today. Uh, for the last five years, I've been learning about the meetings industry. Um, I'm an expert in cities and urban development, which I'll tell you more about in a minute. But I've come to understand that the meetings industry is one of the most sophisticated emerging industries of the 21st century. And I want to tell you in this brief keynote introduction something of what I've learned about it. But let me begin by saying thank you to Ray, thank you to IMEX, thank you to your partners in the Meetings Industry Forum, to AIPC, ICCA, and all of the others that I've got to know in the last five years. I'm really grateful for the invitation, and I'm very pleased to be here. So let me begin with my first theme, which is cities. Um, as you've already heard, I'm an advisor and an advocate on cities and urban development. I work in about 100 cities around the world, and I work mainly with cities that are trying to think about their future, trying to develop a strategy where leadership is somehow connected with the idea of trying to create a future for the place that otherwise would not be there. So from Sydney to Barcelona and Cape Town to San Diego, Santiago to Seoul, Brisbane to Brasilia, and even Nassau to Nanjing. These are cities that are trying to put themselves on a future global map. And I'm lucky enough to be able to visit them and work with them. The people I work with tend to have job titles such as mayor or regional governor or state president, or they're called deputy mayor for city development, or chief executive of the development agency, or chief executive of the chamber of commerce, or director uh, of economic development. There are many people who hold these kinds of job titles, and their numbers are increasing. And I'm also lucky to work with people whose job titles are called things like minister for urban policy, or deputy prime minister, with responsibility for cities and regions. And in countries such as uh, the UK, China, India, Australia, Colombia, Chile, Sri Lanka, Poland, Romania, Slovakia, Australia, uh, I work with those people to think about what's happening to all of our cities. How do we make all of our cities better? Now, we're living in a very unusual and exciting time in the world's history. 
And this is partly because there has been a real breakthrough in our understanding about what cities are and how cities work. We now know, we have the evidence to prove that cities are engines of productivity and innovation, that they are the means and mechanisms for social mobility and the tackling of poverty. They are a, a, a pathway to trade, to cross-investment and to specialization. They are hubs of entrepreneurship. And other things being equal, cities are the most environmentally efficient form of human settlement, at least in theory. And we'll come back to that.